Good morning, comrades. Well, according to local standards, it's probably not, not such a good morning, but I find it goddamn impressive. Yesterday, last night, my plan was to take a nap, one hour nap, then get up, get, get some dinner, and talk about the DJI Mavic Air drone a bit more in detail for today's vlog, apart from the more detailed video that we shot um, separately. But then eventually, I took a nap, but only woke up roughly, uh, no, not 11, 13 hours later because I was that tired. I only slept like one and a half hours the night before, before I got to Monaco. Well, <laughs> and I woke up to a message from DJI saying, hey, do you want to join us on the WRC program of the day? Um, well, hmm, hmm, hmm. I, I might need a moment. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's do it. And here we are, the world, and mostly YouTube and car spotter famous, the Monte Carlo Casino, where actually locals are not allowed to gamble. So, yeah, but they mostly just park their cars in front and pose. But no, we're here for this, not for this, for this. By the way, look at all the fake snow. I thought you could buy anything in Monaco. Can you not buy real snow? Hmm. How bad, apparently money cannot buy every, anything. And a slightly better view from the rooftop of Café de Paris. Hmm, lovely sound. And now some promised car content. Okay, because then we, then, we, then we can get that car. Okay, can we talk to the engineer very quickly? Yes, of course. I apologize for the sudden transition because I had to talk quickly to someone. Then this thing pulled in the Hyundai i20 WRC. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that! Is it street legal? <laughs> so this technically means that we could take it around the North Life on TF Day. Imagine that! Just imagine that! You can go straight through Adana Forest. That's amazing. Ooh, let's have a look at the engine. Carbon fiber, everything. Adjusting the suspension setup. Don't you like it when mechanics are cute girls? And the Yaris is back. All I want to say, huge shout out to FIA for reintroducing the crazy aerodynamics from 2017 on. Wow. And I believe the 2018 specifications may have become even more crazy. This is amazing. This really makes my petrol head heart beat faster. look at the information that the driver gets it's only well the refs and the gear that he's in everything else it goes to co-driver this is yeah Some wipers, that's nice. No 
two-step because two-step. That's my first bad chunk of the day, I guess. Let's have a look inside the Ford. That makes talking easier though. Never mind that. childhood hero. And now it's time for lunch at Café de Paris. And thank God I slept for 13 hours, because otherwise I'd have to pay for Red Bull for 13 euros. Interesting notion, by the way. Now the menu is offered in Russian as well. Nice. Snails. Reminds me of La Lanterna. Hmm. Cannot wait till that place is open again. Aren't you supposed to bake that? And now we are back on the main square at the casino. And look! All the cars are here. All the press is here. And I'm sitting here, filming with my phone. Huge shout out to DJI for this amazing opportunity. <laughs> and to say the next thing they're gonna give me a gimbal that will not die on me. Oh yeah. <laughs> So look at the different lights that the cars are using. This is more a traditional setup. And then the M Sport Ford Fiesta has laser lights. And I'm very familiar with those and I can also definitely recommend them. They're probably the best lights that you can get on the market. Also, uh, SCG, the Glickenhaus car, runs them as well. And damn, I used to have them on a Drew car back in the days so and that was just simply amazing. <laughs> And some boats for the capitalists among you. And something for, well, you guys, petrol hats. This is, I would say, Bugatti, probably. Yep, especially judging by the by the wheels. Uh, William Kruber, the first winner of the first Grand Prix of Monaco. Yep, 
well, it was right, we got him. And if I would be an asshole YouTuber, I would put my cap on him, but we're not. Hmm, interesting thing. As you can see, this one looks touched quite often. And this is the thing with lots of monuments. When something is touch, touched, it could mean that, like according to some superstition, it could be like a symbol of luck or something. Well, I guess, whatever it... Oh no, some loving couple. Hello, darling. Did you miss me? What? The big scary G-Wagon got scared? Or can we say that the G-Wagon transformed into Wagon R? I don't even know what number of bad jokes it is for today. Home sweet home! And guess who we have here? Robert, because tomorrow we are going to do lots of special things. Uh, we're gonna shoot another summit, we're gonna pick up a new car. Yes, we're gonna pick up a new car, so stay tuned for that.